So at this point too, we kind of, we drank quite a bit of water, huh? Yeah, cause it's pretty, it was just uphill. Yep, and then about, that's about when we got to the Narrows too. Yeah. Right when we were drinking a bunch of water. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> cool place though once we got to the narrows that was actually really we we stayed there for like an hour and a half yeah there was like um what rock wall you could climb up it was like a natural rock climbing wall so you could practice rock climbing like two feet off the ground safely you know so that was pretty cool <laughs> and then we packed our stuff back up and we needed to make it to base camp and we knew we wanted to make it to this certain part of the area because then that would put us pretty much right below the ridge to get up to the Oregon Peak. And uh, it's a primitive site, so we just basically scraped away a little bit of an area to set our tents, and there was a fire pit already there, so we just rebuilt it and uh, got a fire going, and it was had, nice. Had fun. Yeah. How y'all doing? This is Obscure Terrain. We made it to our base camp. If you look around, there's nothing set up. It's because we just made it to our base camp. Abby set up. Hello everybody. This is Wabby Powered. We just made it to our base camp. <laughs> There's nothing set up yet because we just got here. All right, so it's the second morning, and uh, we just finished packing camp. All we gotta do is throw the ba bags on our back and head to the the peak, Oregon Peak. It's pretty exciting. Our hydration levels. How is everyone's hydration levels? Top notch. Top notch too. <laughs> Top notch. Drank a Pedialyte before I went to sleep. Um, we we did the same. Got yeah. three bottles of water and a. Uh, a liter of water that I like took a swig of yesterday and then I put in my camelback so hopefully that's enough water mm -hmm. the trail ends and then there's basically remnants of a trail that people use to get up to the Oregon Peak but we're excited uh, it looks like it's gonna be another hot day it's pretty crazy the forest we're, we're gonna drop our packs off in a, in a I, top secret location so nobody else can find them yeah at the end of the trail <laughs> Bro, you just told everyone where we're putting our stuff. Uh, <laughs> longitude is 480. Latitude is 480. <laughs> and our bearings? You guessed it. 480. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we'll see you guys at the top of the peak. And uh, let's do this. Woo! Obscure terrain. <laughs> um, and it took us about like what 25 to 30 minutes to walk the rest of the trail from where we're at. Mm -hmm. And then that's when we switched over into camelbacks and lighter packs because we're not gonna carry our our big old pack all the way up to the peak. Yeah, there's no point. So we found an area to stash them. Packed. Uh, we left water just in case back at our packs, and then we took some water. And we knew we had to ration at this point because. Now we're about to make a big uh, 
climb up to the peak and the trail ends it's pretty much you're on your own we and are on plus you could be stuck up there or something could happen so we just need to have water in reserve for just in case exactly exactly so uh it was pretty cool up there it wasn't really that hot luckily and uh we got everything together we had a little bit of snacks and uh the trail was at, at, at its end, so then we just started climbing up the ridge. steep so we were actually kind of climbing yeah and like on all fours you had to be careful because i don't know how many times we were we were going up and all of a sudden we just like grab a cactus because yep. it'd just be growing right out of the rock that on top of the rock that you're grabbing I poked for. this thumb like that it was not fun yeah but then finally we got to the to as high as we could get going through that ridge which was about eight thousand um 422 feet Yep, that's where we had to stop. And if you and as we kept looking forward, all we would see is sheer face. So it was not doable. Yeah, not with the gear we had, not not as dehydrated that we were starting to yeah. get. I mean, it was just it's dangerous. It was dangerous all the way around. And I mean, we, we don't. We could have climbed up another way, but we just didn't have the water to do it or the time. So because we... all in all, we were just under 500 feet of the peak. And uh, mission fail. Yep. We didn't make it to the peak. We pretty much honest. failed like losers. Yep. But we got further than you. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to consider this a mission fail because we said we were going to go to the peak. But we still had fun. Yeah. We're, I we're, mean, we're, we're within a thousand feet of the peak. And we're super close. Like a eight foot, ten foot rock slide, like a, a just a rock face that you had to climb down. Yeah, I'm behind Dabby and I'm kind of sitting back. I unfortunately wasn't recording because I did not think to hit record. And besides, I think it, my camera was mounted on the chest. I probably would have missed it all because all I really saw from my own eyes was his head. This is what happened as as I was climbing down. The dirt was loose and my foot slipped. And as I slid down, I just reached out quickly to grab onto this boulder you know you don't think a boulder is gonna break because it's just so huge and I grab and the boulder breaks and as soon as it breaks like I it was just instinct but I rolled kind of out of the way or jumped a little bit out of the way and the still some of the boulder caught me and I was stuck that thing was huge it, the whole thing was probably the size the size, size of my body if I balled up and uh, it broke off in two and the big piece luckily went off to the, the drop off and uh, the other piece which is the size of my torso went with Wesley but you could see him he looked like he jumped off to the side I did. so I I, I, <laughs> I ran up and I was kind of freaked out I was like oh my god what happened and I, I ran up to the edge of the to look down and I, I saw him he was moving and I was like okay he's moving and then I panicked because he, he was struggling to get out from under the rock it pinned both his legs down and he was actually trying to peel himself out from under it. I thought he broke his legs or one leg or something. I was like, damn, we're at the top. This is gonna suck. Um, I tried to pull my legs out immediately and they were stuck. I had to like lift the boulder up with my hands and then you pull my legs out. But he has tough legs, I guess. It's all them shin kicks and Muay Thai, dog. This leg's not bad. This leg's the one that got crushed more. Really? 
Cool. Yeah. I guess the pants and stuff. No, so it's on this one. It landed on my shin, which is oh. my, the strong side of my leg. This side was the calf. So after he, he talked to us and told us that he's okay, let's just keep moving because we, we hounded him for a bit if he needed to make a splint or something but no, it's always best to just keep moving forward yeah he, he didn't we we recognized there was no broken bones or any major broken bones so we started <laughs> we started descending and then we started we started descending a little too fast and uh i lost my footing so we got up and we started going down and uh, it took a while but we made it i'm sure he was in pain going down it, yeah it hurt going down not gonna lie but it was also very uncomfortable to be that dehydrated, so I was definitely the dehydration over overrode the pain by a large margin. Getting down the ridge was only a quarter of the way we had to go, so after that, we just started beelining it. As soon as we came out from the tree area, the overgrowth area, and we went more into the desert. It started getting really rough. It yeah. started getting very hot. Abby's little thermometer said it was like 100 degrees. Yeah, 100 plus. I forgot what she said. I couldn't I get it. It was 100 something. Yeah, it was because she said it was 100 and something, and we just, we just kept walking. We weren't talking very much either. Yeah. About a quarter of a mile left. Yeah. And we were completely out of water. And we came up over the into the parking lot, but there was water in the spigot, and I freaking ran to that. I saw it, and as soon as I saw it, it turned on. I was like, "We're safe!" 